Amplitronic. Listen to the difference. Ampitronic flat copper tape is the default choice when installing loop cable under floor coverings. It comes in a range of sizes and reel lengths. Here, we're working with the standard 1.8 square millimeter tape in a 100 meter reel. The copper has a thin insulation to protect against grounding or shorts where tapes cross, but this can be damaged if care isn't taken during installation. It is best practice to clean the surface where you're installing the loop, and if you're working on metal system flooring, then lay a base layer of adhesive tape first to give extra protection from grounding. If you're installing on concrete, the surface should be sealed, and a spray adhesive may be useful to help fix the tapes down. We recommend using the largest reels of tape available to minimize joints but especially in larger rooms where there may be times you need to join two pieces of tape together. You should be using a good quality, high power soldering iron with a reasonably wide tip. It can also be useful to have a heat proof mat or similar to work on as soldering directly on a cold concrete or metal floor can make the job more difficult. You'll want to make sure that the tape is secured in place before you start. There is no need to remove the insulation this will melt off easily when we apply some heat. Heat up the surface that you want to solder and work it across the area. Take your new roll of tape and lay it off to one side. Tape this to a surface that you can solder upon and repeat the same process. Once you have tinned both ends, place them on top of one another, securing down the tapes so that it hasn't got any movement when you're soldering and then apply heat to the joint. Once you've got the join, you want to feel around for any sharp edges to make sure that a sharp bit of solder isn't going to cut through your insulation tape. And then apply some insulation around the joint. Try to keep the joint neat and flat to reduce the chance of a bump under the floor covering. It is now good to go under the floor. When connecting feed cables, you follow the same approach. In most cases, you'll be using a twisted pair as the feed cable for each loop circuit. There is one cable that goes to your send and one cable that goes to your return. You start by either tinning the flat copper tape or the feed cable. In this case, I started by tinning the flat copper tape first, and then the feed cable. When joining the cables, make sure you have a decent amount of overlap between the two cables, and then apply heat. Once you've made the join, apply some tape to insulate. We also offer crimps and a crimp tool, which can simplify the connection of feed cables, if you would prefer not to solder. When laying flat copper tape, following one of our designs, you'll have to make a series of 90 degree turns. To do this, you simply fold the tape at a right angle and continue your run. Printed warning tape is applied to the top of the flat copper tape in order to hold the tape in place, provide some additional protection, and also to serve as a visual reminder to carpet fitters not to cut the tape. Again, when applying printed warning tape, Try to avoid overlapping layers of tape, which could cause bumps under the floor finish. Thank you for watching. Please look through our other videos for more tips on working with hearing loop systems. And for any questions, you can contact us via email, phone, or live chat. Amplitronic. Listen to the difference.